Hi and welcome to Caterham Unchained. It's been a busy few weeks here at the factory. Motorola Solutions called in to take a look at future tech being used in public safety and enterprise markets, such as barcode scanning and wireless networking equipment, which we use here at Caterham F1. So we're thrilled to work with Caterham because uh, I personally love auto racing, so that makes it very easy. But uh, we're thrilled to work with Caterham because it's a really, really interesting environment. It's unique, um, much like the environments that we actually provide technology in. It's a high stress environment, uh, very high data rates. It's a mobile data environment. They're con you guys are constantly collecting technology and telemetry from your vehicles on track in real time, sending it across the world during the race. Uh, so we love that kind of an environment because if you think about how police officers and firefighters work, it's similar. They're constantly collecting real-time data, um, looking to actually share it with one another so they can make the most informed decisions. And so as we like to say at uh, Motorola, we help people be their best in the moments that matter through technology by getting the right information to the right person at the right time. So I think it's a great combination of what Caterham tries to do and what we're trying to do for our customers. Hi, I'm Ian Prince, I'm the Rapid Prototyping Manager at Caterham F1. Welcome to the Rapid Prototyping Department. In here we make the model parts which go onto the model for the wind tunnel. The guys upstairs work through a process of designing the parts on Katira, as Dickie explained in an earlier blog. They send me an SDL file which consists of triangles which make up the parts. I grab the files, program them, slice them and put them onto the machines and build them. The process which the software does is actually slices the parts into layers of 0.1 of a millimetre. The machine will then section the support, which supports the parts onto the platform. The platform drop 0.1 and the recoder come across and put another layer of resin over the top of the parts. The laser will then harden off the next layer, then continue on that process to the parts complete. It's 200 mil high in Z, it will be 2,000 layers. Depending on the size of parts, uh, a build can either take 10 hours or to 100 hours, depending on how much we load the platforms. This helmet will take about 8 hours to build. When it's finished, the platform will rise up out the vat. It's not solid, so we put some drain holes in the bottom of the, the helmet so the, the resin that's not cured can pour out of the helmet. The next process is we put them through two washers, a washer with TPM and a washer with water. The TPM will dissolve most of the residents left on the part and the water will wash away the TPM. We break the supports and the helmet off the platform, scrub the parts down to get rid of all the residue. And once that's done, into a light box where it's cured for one hour, then sandblasted and handed to the model shop. Hi guys, we're here in the model shop. Uh, we can't show you too much because these guys are busy designing and building next year's car. But what I can show you is these three um, helmets that we use uh, to put in the car in the wind tunnel. If you keep watching Caterham Unchained, uh, you could be lucky enough to win one of these signed by the two Caterham F1 drivers. Amazing. Follow us for a look at what's been happening behind the scenes throughout the year at Caterham F1. And remember, to keep up to date with all the latest action, hit the like button, drop your comments in the box below, and subscribe.